Hey guys, I'm David and I'm here to talk about some quick video techniques you can use at home. The world's different right now. We've traded our commutes to work for commutes to the couch, and the dress code is a little more relaxed these days. One of the biggest changes has been how we communicate. Gone are the days of sitting in a room, throwing ideas around a table, and writing them on a whiteboard. We live in a virtual world now, and that means our webcams are working overtime. And let's face it, they aren't winning any awards for quality. Luckily, there are some tips I can give you that'll help your next on-camera appearance look professional and on point. Say you don't have a professional camera at home, like me, and instead you need to use a webcam or phone like this. It may not look as good, but it still gets the point across. Oh, and I'm assuming you don't have a three-point lighting system at home, right? <laughs> yeah, it's not looking as good, right? Well, fear not. There are a few simple tricks that I can show you to make your video look better almost instantly. But first, let's change locations. Okay, so this location change will lead me into my first tip, and that has everything to do with lighting. To create a clean image, proper lighting is key. For the sake of this demonstration, I've set up my production lights again, but let's see what our image looks like if we kill them. You'll see my camera has the background looking great, but I need these lights to illuminate myself to match. Now let's try bringing my phone back to see what we've got cooking there. <laughs> Yeah, even worse. Computer and phone cameras, while impressive and convenient, are not a professional solution and naturally can't quite compete with a dedicated camera like this one. There is an easy solution here though, and no, it's not to buy a fancy lighting setup. All we have to do is change where we're standing. I know it may seem obvious, but in reality, most of us don't think of what is in our background, be it an overexposed window or a plain wall. That's why I'm starting here, so you can see why it's important to make sure there isn't anything distracting behind you. Now let's switch it up again, all we're gonna do is turn 180 degrees and... And now we have a perfectly usable shot. Believe it or not, I'm not using any artificial light here. The most important thing to do is to place yourself close to and in front of a window so the light covers you evenly. If you're finding the light is too harsh, you might be able to draw a curtain or blind to cut it down. Covering the window with a thin piece of cloth can also help in creating a softer, more pleasing light with less harsh shadows. But say the sun's gone down or you're in a room without much natural light. Let's head down to my garage to see how we cover that scenario. This is a pretty good example of a space with no natural lighting. You could also compare this to an interior office without any windows. Now, I do have can lights in my ceiling, which will work okay to get some general lighting, but unless your goal is to look like Marlon Brando in The Godfather, we're gonna avoid that. Instead, we're gonna place a lamp at about a 45 degree angle for my face. This will be our main light. If you have another light, you can place it on the other side to light yourself evenly, otherwise just use the normal lights in your house to illuminate everything else. As with our original setup, be weary of what's in your background. As you can see behind me, this doesn't look great, so do your best to clean it up, possibly stage it, and make it look a lot more inviting. You want to make sure your audience's attention is on you, not what's behind you. The final thing I want to talk about is audio quality, and with it there are two important things to keep in mind. Your equipment and your location. If you're really looking to get the highest quality possible, we recommend picking up a dedicated microphone that plugs in your device. This could either be a, a lavalier type microphone like this one, a directional microphone that sits on top of your mobile device, or one that plugs in your computer through USB. You could also use the headphones that came with your phone, as most of them come with a pretty decent inline microphone. Whatever your style, there are plenty of options. But the most important thing when it comes to sound quality is ensuring that you're in a quiet, undisturbed environment. I know. A lot of us are working from home and have kids or a dog or maybe just an annoying partner, but it's important to have absolute silence. We cut our takes for as little as a bus stopping in the background, and your production should be no different. If you're recording without a dedicated microphone, this is especially important as the mic on your phone and computer are omnidirectional, meaning it picks up sound in every direction. No matter what you use to record, just make sure to keep your environment as quiet as possible so your audience can hear you clearly. That about wraps up my DIY at home production tips. But before I go, I wanna leave you guys with one bonus piece of advice. All of these tips I just mentioned won't mean anything if you aren't comfortable on camera. People love what other people are passionate about. So breathe, relax, and just be yourself. And <laughs> yes, I did just quote La La Land. Anyways, I hope these tips can help you make your next on-camera appearance stand out. And remember, if you need any help, our team here at PEG is just a few clicks or a phone call away. Thanks everyone and stay safe.